Hey there, this is Akshim Nanan and welcome back to a new video and in this video again we are going to see one more Kegel problem that is regarding tumor classification. So basically we are going to use deep learning and convolutional neural networks and we are going to build such a model which can predict whether this image is having a tumor or not having a tumor. So basically we are going to go through the brain images. So without wasting more time let's go to kegel.com and first of all let's go through the data set. So this data set is by Navneel Chakrabarti and it's a very good data set because it is containing a uh, very large number of images that are having tumor and not having a tumor right so let's go to coding part so this is my notebook and i have given this notebook uh, you can check the link in the description so first of all i am importing the important statements so that are import os so uh, why i am importing operating system because i want to go through go through these two folders that is no and yes and i have to show these images to you using matplotlib that's why I, I want to walk through these two folders that's why i'm importing os then i'm importing keras then sequential then these important keras layers convolutional max pooling flattened dense dropout and batch normalization then i'm importing image from python image library that is pil then i'm importing numpy pandas and matplotlib then i'm using dark background for my plots then i'm importing train test split for splitting my data into training and testing then i'm importing one hot encoder because I want to encode my two classes that is yes and no into integers so that I can feed into my model in a better way. That's why I'm importing this one hot encoder. Now don't focus on this cell for now. I'm going to tell you what I'm doing. So basically what I'm doing, uh, you can focus now only. What I'm doing, I'm using one hot encoder and I'm encoder dot fit zero and one. That means zero is, uh, is having zero means tumor and one means normal, right? So this is the basic meaning of this cell. I'm just using, using one hot encoder right then what i'm doing i'm creating three important empty list is, that is you can see data then paths then result now what is this significance of these three cells uh, sorry these three list right so yeah, as you can see i've written over here data list for storing the image data in numpy array form so what does this uh, data is going to contain uh, the numpy form of my images as you can see there are a lot of images and I can't, I can't feed my model these raw images, right? I have to convert this uh, images into NumPy form. And this NumPy form of the images I'm storing in my data list, right? For each and every image. Then this paths list is going to contain the path of each and every image, right? Then the res this result is going to contain my target class, whether zero or one. That's why I'm using, uh, I'm using one hot encoder, right? Uh, zero means tumor and one means normal. And this is the answer that this is the prediction right so this i'm going to store in my result path result list right then after this what i'm doing i'm using the for loop and i'm walking through the operating system into this folder as you can see this yes folder is containing so many images and what i'm doing i'm going to go through each and every image and if this image is in the jpg format as you can see for r for r comma d comma f i'm going to tell you what does these three mean and um, for file in f this f means folder that means this yes folder for file in f as you can see this folder is containing so many files so i am iterating through these files and if this file is in jpg format i'm going to append the path of this image what i'm doing i'm uh, joining this two path that is r and file r is my raw path as you can see this is my raw path and i'm going to uh, join this path that is this yes folder path and this file path that means this y103.jpg. I'm going to attach these two paths and I'm going to uh, append it in my paths list as my paths list is supposed to store the paths of each and every image, right? Then after this, I'm going to iterate through each and every path and I'm going to read that image using PIL uh, image library and I'm going to resize into 128, 128. Why I'm doing it? Because I can't feed uh, different different sizes images into my model, right? So I have to standardize this size. So I have chosen 128, 128. So each and every image is resized into 128, 128. Then I am uh, converting my image into NumPy form. So as you can see, 9p.array and this image. And if this image is equal to is equal to 128, 128, 3, I'm going to append the data list. As you can see, data is going to uh, have the uh, numpy form of this image so data dot append np dot array image and then i'm going to append the result list right and result is going to have my answer so i'm one hot encoding my answer that is zero which means tumor and i'm going to convert it into an array and i'm going to add the data into my result right so now my uh, three list that is data paths and result are appended 
for my yes folder now i have to do the same thing for my no folder right now the work of this paths list is done now that's why i'm creating that paths list again this empty list again for my no folder but you don't have to create this data and result again and again right because this data and result is going to contain all the images data for yes and no but this paths work was only till here to go through each and every image right so i am converting this thing again and i am doing the same thing for no and i am appending the data and result list again right now what i am doing i am converting this data into numpy form because my model is going to get the numpy form and this result is also going to contain is i am converting this result also into my numpy form as you can see and as you can see the size of this uh, data is 139 comma 128 comma 128 comma 3 so i have to convert this uh, i have to reshape this result also into 139 comma 2 right two by because i have only two parts zero and one right so 139 comma 2 so i am uh, now my model is uh, now my data is uh, clean and pure now i can split my data into training and testing right so i'm uh, splitting my data uh, so i'm using train test split test size i have put 20 percent and random state is zero shuffle is true now my data is split it. now only one thing is left that is model building so now i have to build this convolutional neural network first of all i have written this uh, batch normalization definition if uh, any of you don't know but i'm going to make a separate video of uh, each and everything right so for creating the model i'm using sequential model that we mostly use for cnn then i'm adding these layers so first of all con 2d con layer 32 filters kernel size 2 by 2 uh, input shape is 128 comma 128 comma 3 why this size because this is the size of my image so that is going to be my input shape then this padding and in the next layer i am adding activation function right then the this uh, batch normalization layer then max pooling then dropout then uh, then again convolutional layer 64 filters then activation is relu then again batch normalization max pooling dropout then i am using flatten convert my input layer into so convert my image into one uh, one dimensional array right then i'm uh, using this dens uh, as you can see in the output part i'm putting two because i have only two uh, classes this is a binary classification yes and no so that's the output shape is two then this activation is softmax right then i'm compiling my model so for compilation i'm uh, putting loss is categorical cross entropy then this optimizer is adamax right now what I'm doing, I'm printing the summary. So this is the summary of my model. Then the, as you know that I'm using uh, train test split. So this is the shape uh, of my uh, training part and rest of the, as, as you know, that total shape was 139. So out of 139, 111, uh, uh, as you can see, 111 quantities are in training part and rest of the quantities are in testing part. You can, uh, can uh, you can assume this, right? Then I'm fitting my model into my uh, then I'm fitting my data into my model. So I've done uh, the same thing which I already do uh, each and every time. First of all, you need to pre-process your data. Then you have to create your model. Then you have to feed that pre-processed data into your model. Then you can predict your predict your answer, right? For fitting my model, I'm fitting the model with training part. So X train, Y train. Then epochs is 30. Then batch size is 40. Then verbose is 1. Validation data is X test and y test so validation is going to be my testing part so i am uh, i am just uh, as you can see each and every epoch is running and you can you are getting the validation loss and loss at each and every epoch right so now i'm going to plot these losses so what i'm doing using matplotlib i am uh, plotting these three uh, validation loss and loss so history dot history as you know this history is my model dot fit and I'm printing the loss and validation loss from these two using plot function. Then this title, y label, x label, then legend and show. If you don't know about mat, matplotlib, I have made a separate video for matplotlib, right? You can go, you can check my uh, playlist of data analysis and visualization, right? Now let's run this and check the two plots. So as you can, as you know, uh, our validation was uh, validation loss and loss was supposed to go down so we are seeing that same thing my losses are going down so that's a good thing now after this i am just checking the model so what i am doing i am uh, checking my model for a random image i have taken a random image from my tumor detection folder and i am checking it where what it predicts right so what i am doing using matplotlib image is equal to image dot open same thing then x is np dot array and reshaping because my model was supposed to get 128 comma 128 comma 3 so i'm reshaping this thing and converting my image into numpy form 
then this classification is going to contain that value which is maximum from 1 and 0 right so 0 was for tumor and 1 was for not having a tumor and this is going to print this statement that is this classification that is predicted thing by my model and this string that is confidence level right then let's check this uh, thing now uh, this thing as you know i am using this no folder that means this answer according to me should be uh, not having a tumor now let's see what my model gives let's run it uh, it is having a error let's see what it uh, means okay i think i by mistake i deleted one cell which i had created let's create that cell again over here only for so def names it is going to have a name or oh, sorry number and if my number is equal to is equal to zero i have put zero for having a tumor right so if number is equal to zero then return uh, it's a tumor. tumor and else return no you oh sorry no it's not a tumor right let's run this this is done now let's run this again so as you know uh, i have taken an image from no folder so it is giving that same thing 100 percent confidence this is no it's not a tumor right so everything that uh, the statement which i have written over here that uh, statement is printed over here so names classification i am uh, giving this classification to my function which is which was supposed to get a number and this classification was a number only and uh, it would have given number one so that's why it is giving no it's not a tumor right now let's do the same thing for yes so i am taking one random image from my yes folder and i'm uh, just running it so it is 99.99 percent .99 sure that it's a tumor right maybe because of this thing because as i as i'm seeing that there is no such thing over here right so maybe because of this thing so this was our tumor classification model so that's it and uh, i hope you like this video and the content so till the next content keep coding keep innovating and thanks a lot